When I first became interested in European fisheries, it was really to look back over the last three decades or so at how climate change had been affecting the fish stocks. Waters have warmed around the UK by about two degrees, and we now know that that's uh, had big effects on uh, losing some of the cold water fish, but the warmer water fish that have been coming through from Spain and Portugal replacing them. I was able to gather data that covered about a million square kilometers, and by looking at all those data together, I could see that that warming has changed where some fish are found. It doesn't necessarily need to be bad news if the fisheries change. So what we decided to do was to bring together government scientists, fishermen, academics, policy makers, lawyers, together into one room to try and envisage what 2050 could look like if we did everything right in the next 35 years. One of the real outcomes from the workshop that we organised in London was Soul of Discretion. Soul of Discretion is a community interest company, um, which is a company owned by the fishermen that land to it. Anything under 10 metres are the boats that we look to, to take from. We are predominantly looking at static fishers and hand liners. It is really the, the most environmentally friendly way of doing it. So the real aim of Soul of Discretion is to financially reward fishermen who are fishing with sensitivity to the sea. I was really fortunate to find Steve at Exeter University to be able to look to the scientific community to say, well okay, I'm told this about the way that things are fished, but you know, what's, what's the scientific opinion on it? Caroline realised that she could set up cooperatives with these inshore boats so that the fishermen could sell directly to her and they process the fish and our students could go out on the boats, assess the methods that the fishermen are using and then also guide the fishermen in terms of the way their business might develop um, when we think about the fish stocks that will be around in these waters. I've been going out on boats um, with fishermen to look at how the methods and the practices that they're using could be affecting the fish stocks and their, the wider marine environment and also um, looking at things such as the processing and handling of fish once it's on the deck. The data and information that I've been collecting from these boats can be used to help assess whether the fish being caught are being done so in a sustainable and ethical way. And it can also be used to help inform our wider work being done at the University of Exeter looking at fishery sustainability and the future impacts of things such as climate change. My research project is based on using information from scientific surveys about fish distributions and abundance along with climate data and things like salinity and depth and habitat type to predict how fish populations might change over the next coming decades. Hopefully the results from my research can be used to inform fishermen about the kind of fish that they're likely to be catching in the next few decades, how their landings are likely to change um, and therefore what kind of fish people are going to be getting more of and how they can make the most of that. We now have a system where our students are able to go out on the boats, help the fishermen to assess the way that they're fishing, to look at the way the fish are being handled and processed, and then those fish are being sold with extra value. When the students go out on the boats, they come back really alive with, with just the beauty of the fishing world. Well.